Hey folks, Matt from Rare to the Image.com. The Fuji X-T100 recently announced. Very interesting camera. A lot of reasons to like this camera. And in my last video on it, I gave you two that you might want to consider before purchasing it. And those were the kind of crippled 4K, actually since a kind of pretty crippled 4K, 15 frames per second. The other thing was the fact that it doesn't have an X-Trans sensor, the famous Fuji sensor. Now, this brought to mind, I was reading over on the online photographer, Top, that's Mike Johnson's site, um, where Oren um, Grad, he's a curator of, as Mike calls it, the not-so-stately Oren Manor View Camera Museum and Graveyard. He has a different take on this. He thinks that's actually a bonus or a benefit, I guess I should say, that it doesn't have the X-Trans sensor, that he thinks, in his own words, he says that, uh, where does it say here, a 24-megapixel sensor with a plain Bayer color filter array, not the ill-conceived X-Trans. So he's calling the X-Trans sensor an ill-conceived sensor. In other words, he doesn't like it, and he likes the fact that they've gone with a non-X-Trans sensor. This is kind of interesting. I know, I, I've known there's always been a, a little bit of fringe dislike at least that's the way I've taken it because people I know that shoot Fuji and have shot Fuji, they love the colors and the quality that comes out of these cameras. I know myself, I really like the X-T20. I've liked pretty much all of the cameras. What I really like about the X-T2 and the X-T20 now is that we've got a very mature camera system. We've got a very good 24 megapixel sensor. We've got a great 4K impl implementation. We have uh, a fantastic autofocus system, uh, probably one of the top three out there for continuous autofocus to be able to smoothly follow, track something in uh, video mode or in live view, as it were, uh, similar to the Canon dual pixel AF system. So, and here's Oren saying an ill conceived X trans sensor. He doesn't like it. So, this is somebody who's on what I would say, the minority of people out there who don't like the X-Trans sensor. Here's an update. Mike posted an update on that post. Uh, he says, an update from Oren. For those who asked, I intensely dislike the artifacts associated with the demosaic of the X-Trans CFA, and I think that the claim benefits don't come anywhere near to compensating for that flaw. More is the pity because otherwise I think the Fuji product line has much to offer. I suspect it would have done just as well in the marketplace without X-Trans, though of course there's no way to we can ever know that for sure. Uh, all that said, if you like the X-Trans look, more power to you. Use it and enjoy. Everyone's entitled to their own taste. So there's a bit more explanation. He's saying that there is some artifacting that he doesn't find palatable with the X-Trans sensor. Uh, I myself have never really seen this. I've always liked the Fujis. I've always liked the implementation of the X-Trans uh, sensor. So I guess I'm in that group that he mentions there that for those of you that like it, like myself, more power to you, which is good. It's a good way to look at it because he's not uh, coming down on people that do like it. He's just, you know, horses for courses, different people like different things, different strokes for different folks. Uh, just an in interesting take on that because, as I said, I thought it's always been a very uh, minor group of people that don't like the X-Trans sensors. And I guess what I want to do then is I want to throw it back to you guys. I know there's a lot of you that watch that are Fuji shooters or have shot Fuji. A lot of people just like Fuji in general, have considered switching to the system. What do you guys think? Do you like the Fuji X-Trans sensors? Do you like the system the way it is? Or are you more like Oren here where you see it as an advantage that a camera like the X-T100 that just came out does not have an X-Trans sensor? In other words, you prefer a more traditional sensor, not an X-Trans one. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what the general consensus is here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong in my take that it's a minority of people that don't like the X-Trans. Let, let's discuss it in the comments below. Really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing your feedback and kind of taking the pulse of um, what people think about X-Trans versus having a non-X-Trans sensor like the one in the X-T100. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.